Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And today I will show you how to crochet amazing and in the same time simple project. This is my own pattern. I created it recently. For this project I will use 1.4 mm crochet hook, beads and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. Let's crochet. I am beginning the work from the chain. I pull it. I will not use it. Then chain more. Pull up the working loop. I am joining a bead. Take a bead. Put it on the hook. Take the working loop. Pull it through. Make a chain with a bead. Then chain all four for the chain space. One, two, three, four. Well done. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Make a slip stitch. The chain space is joined. Well done. My chain space is ready. Continue. Turn the work like this. My yarn is before the work. I am working into the chain space and into the thread like this make single crochet let's count them in total it should be six of them one two three Four, five, six. Well done. My yarn is not visible. Let's turn the work. I have done six single crochet. I continue working on the segment. I continue working on my segment. For the next part, make a chain and turn the work. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make single crochet. Two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Make the last one into the same stitch. Well done. Make a chain. Continue, turn the work, insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. Then make a chain, make a slip stitch, chain, and make a slip stitch, chain. Let's repeat again, chain. And slip stitch, chain, and make slip stitch, chain, and make a slip stitch, chain, make a slip stitch, chain, insert the hook into the chain stitch, make a slip stitch. 
my cute segment is ready. You can use it like an earring or pedant or put this small segment to the big composition. So I continue working on my cord. Now I show you how to crochet the second segment and now I show you how to continue the work. So now I show you how to crochet the second segment. I continue working in the same way as I showed you before. The second segment will be the same as the first one. Make a chain, pull up the working loop, take a bead, put it on the hook, take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain with bead. Make a chain of four for the chain space. One, two, three, four. Turn the work. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Make a slip stitch. My base is ready. Now turn the work. Then I'm going to work with six single crochet into the chain space and into the thread. Insert the hook into the thread and chain space. Make six single crochet. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have done six single crochet, so I continue working. I continue crocheting, make a chain, turn the work, insert the hook into the first stitch, make single crochet one, two, three, four, five, And six and make the seventh one into the same stitch. I have done seven single crochet and now I show you how to join two segments together. Now I turn the work. Let's look in at the previous segment. Here is my third stitch. And now I am working with second stitch. I skip the first one and insert the hook into the second stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. So my joining point is ready. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch, chain and slip stitch, chain, slip stitch and chain, slip stitch and chain, slip stitch and chain, slip stitch and chain, chain and slip stitch chain and work over the slip stitch into the chain stitch so don't forget to crochet this slip stitch so i have done two segments of the cord also it could be like a small 
earring. It is very simple and in the same time very beautiful. For this project you can use any color of yarn. So you should crochet as many times as you need. Now I will show you how to begin the third one and you will continue by yourself. Make a chain, pull up the working loop, remove the hook, take a bit, put it on the hook. Take the working loop, pull it through, make a chain with bead. Then chain of four, one, two, three, four. Turn the work, insert the hook into the first stitch. I insert the hook into two loops. Make a slip stitch. My chain space is ready. Now turn the work. Now work with chain space and thread. Make six single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Continue working in this way as many times as you need. It could be it could be perfect pattern for bracelet, necklace or belt. I'm almost done the last one. Here how it looks my project. Now I show you how to finish it. After I have done the last slip stitch and to secure the yarn by making a chain and pull it. My project is ready. If you would like to make some accessories for hand or like a belt, you can put claps or another accessories. In this case, you should leave a long piece of yarn to sew tools to the ready project. Let's look at another side. As you can see, this is a double sided project, so you can use any side. As you remember, I removed the yarn when I was making the single crochet around the chain space and thread. Also, it could be like a decoration for home or your kitchen, or also it could be accessories for hair, it depends whatever you want. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. You can use it everywhere. Please write comment below the video what you will get with my video tutorials and where you will use it. There are a lot of links in the description below of this video. Please visit my playlist and find a lot of video tutorials, especially how to crochet with beads or just simple project. Good luck in crocheting and see you next time. Bye!